going on everyone? My name is Jed here at World of Reef. This is our vlog at our local fish store. Uh, we are a saltwater only fish store. I'm sorry for all the blue lights on my face making me look like Violet from Willy Wonka. I know, get it all the time. Uh, it's kind of tough, I don't really have a filter for it, so just bear with me. Um, this is our vlog, just day to day stuff. Uh, I want to apologize again for these late vlog posts. I'm back at school, I was sick, the hur hurricane just hit. There's a lot been going on. I'm trying to keep up with it. I really am, I promise you. Um, but with that hurricane, we did not have our one year anniversary sale. If someone came in and asked for the discount, I gave it to them. Um, but we're gonna postpone that. We're gonna do a real event at a later date. I will let you guys know the second I know what that date is. Um, we'll do the same thing, 20% off all of livestock. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy. So today's been crazy. Uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing my World of Reef shirt. Um, we had, Eric unfortunately uh, had some family matters um, he had to attend to, and I had originally canceled the shipping because of that, but they had shipped it before, excuse me, before I was able to cancel it. So I've been running around like crazy trying to get this shipment. Luckily, our good friends at Tint World next to us, they uh, took in the shipment for us. So I'm here now. It's just an invert shipment. There are a couple of fish in there, but it's a big invert shipment in pre preparation for our sale. Um, so I'm here now picking up the shipment and I'll see, show you what we got in a sec. Huge shout out to Tent World. I already got one box back in the store, but huge shout out to them. Uh, they really helped us on this one because uh, I'm off today, but this shipment came or we shipped, then Eric's situation happened, but fish were already in the mail, so I couldn't just leave it at the door. So we gotta figure it out now. Uh, I'm gonna get these guys acclimating, and I'll be back with you in a sec. Hey, so everything's already away. I'm just, I'm trying to get out of here because you know, it, it's my off day slash I gotta be home. Um, but real quick, I'll just walk you through what we got. Everything's already away again, like I said, but here we go. Lights are off, but a lot of skunk cleaners, porcelain crab, more blood shrimp. That would start. Um, sexy shrimp, mandarin. Target mandarin. Mandarin in the back. There should be another mandarin in here. There he is. Um, hey, right, knock it off. Copper band. Copper band. And copper band. There's, I promise there's one at the top. So it's time for me to get out of here, but that was what we got. Hope to see you guys Saturday. Easiness of tear down, like the clean up. I want this. I want to easy tear down, down, basically unions and all that, all the easy yeah, stuff. Yeah, and, and water changes the whole whole nine. Do it right the first time. We'll have an issue. Do a huge salt system. And, that's. I was. So I want to talk really quick. Sorry about my voice. I'm a little sick. Uh, I want to talk really quick about appropriate tank size. Um, one of my favorite shirts in the hobby that I've seen on uh, guys like Inappropriate Reefer is uh, the Tang Police. <clears throat> and it's like, don't get a Tang unless you have a 90 gallon. <clears throat> don't get a Tang unless you have a 90 gallon Tang. And I think there's a couple exceptions to that. I think like Yellow and Scopus and Tamini Tangs. I think you go a little smaller than that. Um, but for the most part, Tangs, yeah, you want a bigger Tang. Especially Blue Tangs. We have our little blue tangs that we've had almost a year, or we've had them a year now. Um, got our five left from our order of 50. They're really small, like, really small. They're probably two, three inches at max. Um, and this is at them in a 50 gallon aquarium. So like they got a lot of space, but obviously they're gonna grow. And when I say they're gonna grow, they're gonna grow. So that being said the other day, or a couple weeks ago actually now, um, a couple comes in and saying, hey, like I have this blue tang, 
We've had her for 10 years. We're ready to get rid of her. She's just too big for our aquarium. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, what size? They're like, well, this blue tank that you have here, this girl's kind of our mascot. Uh, she was a rescue out of someone's aquarium. They uh, bought a house. She's a little skittish. This is what they bring me. This big girl. She's probably nine, 10 inches, I'd say. Big. This is her in a 50 gallon. They had her in a 40 gallon, so probably from here over. And then imagine rock in there. Now, I definitely, like there's a lot of people in the hobby that get these fish that grow really big. Um, and they have the intention of either getting a big tank or they you know like I'll have this little one and grows up and I'll go to the store and trade it out. This case on the other hand, they just kept her in this small tank. Like that's to me that's abuse. That's that's just absolutely like terrible. Like that's just that's just terrible. Um, I I see it a lot of time in freshwater. I follow a lot of uh, freshwater guys. Um, and they have like monster fish, like red tails, arapaima. But like, because from YouTube and the, what they generate through YouTube, they're able to afford that stuff. Um, but there's a lot of people, like I had a kid the other day. He was like, I swear, I was on the phone, he sounded seven years old. And said, do you guys have red tail catfish? And I was like, no, sorry, we, have sell, well, I, we sell only saltwater. So I hung up the phone. I thought about it, I was like, that fish is gonna get big enough to eat that kid. Like, I really hope that kid understands what he's getting to. Like, it's not just a cool thing. Like, if you follow uh, King of DIY, go look at when he got that cat, his red tail, and when he got rid of it. He's had it for a year, and it grew about to two feet in a year. Now that's that's nuts. So if you're gonna get a big fish that you know is gonna grow big, have an appropriate tank size. Like, I I refuse to sell fish to some people. Uh, I. I do it all the time uh, with the sharks. If people tell me, hey, I want to get a shark tank, I've never kept salt water before. I'm like, hey, okay, cool, I'm not selling you a shark. If I know the tank size you have, I'm gonna point you to fish that are gonna work for your tank for their long term or for your plants. If you already have plans to upgrade your tank, I'm gonna try to take you at your word for it. I try to see the best in people. I'm gonna take you at your word that you are upgrade your tank, you're just gonna grow it out in the smaller tank for now. Cool. But if you say, hey, I got a 40 gallon, and that's all you got. It's all you intend to want. I'm not going to sell you a tang, regardless of the species. You got, if you have like a 60 gallon, that's when I'm going to start considering like a small yellow ascopus or a tamini. That's it. I'm not going to sell you any ancantharis tangs. Uh, like it's, just, it's just not going to happen because I, I care about the fish at the end of the day. That is, that's what I'm here for. If I lose a sale, I'll lose a sale. Um, but... It's to prevent fish looking like this. See if it'll focus on this. Just, like her face is so bad. Her fins are all rotted. So get appropriate fish for your tank. That's all I'm gonna say. So Eric and the gang just got back from Macna and they brought us a new racking system. So we're gonna start getting uh, just a new fish system up and going, increased inventory, and it's gonna be in this little middle room here. And uh, hopefully this whole room will turn into a fish system. All the tanks are on the stand. It's gonna be a while before we plummet, but at least they're off the floor. But slowly but surely, we will have a new fish system. So, my one of my days here, I've uh, just been plumbing this system. We still gotta get a new circuit breaker so we can run it. Um, but you know, again, passing time, being productive. <clears throat> so you can see pretty simple. It's the same system, very simple. We got the valves on. The returns, return pump will come out here. And then the overflow here, drains down to this one, that one then tees off into that one, and then 
this one tees off and they just join down to the spray bar. Uh, probably gonna take the spray bar out and put a sock there. Um. So yeah, passing time, um, building this, you know, the new system, trying to get this whole room to be a fish system. Uh, I think, don't mind the mess, but I think this wall might turn into just strictly nano fish. Um, that's the plan at least. That's gonna do it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, I'm sorry that we didn't get to have our one year anniversary. I'm sorry about the late vlogs. I'm sorry a hurricane hit. And it's, it's been crazy around here because you know I'm, I'm not in the shop that much anymore. I don't have as much control. I don't have that much video access, that time to edit. Um, so I'm, I'm doing my best here, I promise. Just stick with me through it um, and you'll get to see us grow more and more every single time. Um, in every video, we'll always have something new. So if you like what you see, if you want to see where we're going as a store, comment, rate, subscribe, hit the post notifications, and we'll see you guys next time.